Okay, so we're now onto the second screen of our application, and this is going to be um, the screen that has the, the quiz that we're doing. All right, so what we're going to start off with is a bit like before a label at the top. Um, this is going to fill the parent, and it's going to be in the center. And I'm just going to write in that um, questions. I'll just put question. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we can have a bit in, in the code. It'll say what the question actually is. Like I will add a like a number after that. Okay. So again, I'll just use the same kind of uh, stylings that I've been using on my other screen. You'll have your own setups. Um, what background color did I use? Dark gray and white. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then I'm going to do a horizontal arrangement just to space things out. Fill the parent again, so it's the full width of the screen. And the height, if I can find it. Uh, what was I using? 50, I think. That looks about right. Um, and then what we're going to do is then we're going to have our questions will appear here. All right. So what we need to do for that is put in one of these things called uh, a list view. Um, we're not going to write anything in there. We just need to dump in this thing called list view and that will add a list of our questions that are going to be taken from a database that we're going to put together within the code. Okay, so all you actually need to do is just put the list view there because that's where our questions are going to be. Okay, after that, I'm going to put in just some labels really. So I'm going to put a label here. Um, width all the way across. And that's just going to essentially tell the user whether they've got the question right or wrong. So I'm just going to put correct or wrong. It won't actually say that. We'll tell the label what to say in the code. Um, this just helps me remember what this label is going to be for. Okay, so put that to 30. Again, things like um, the color of the text. Um, you can program that in to be a different color uh, depending on the answer and stuff like that. Um, but again, you should be able to work that stuff out after completing um, these videos because uh, you have a, a better understanding of how things work. But for now, just that will say either correct or it will say wrong. I'm going to put in another horizontal arrangement. Height. 50. And I'm going to put in a second label here, which will tell them the score. Okay, because they want to know the score as they go along. Uh, where's center? Okay, so again, I'm just putting in a really basic uh, interface. You guys can spend a lot more time customizing this to, to look a lot more fancy than mine is. Don't just just copy mine because it'll it's a bit boring. And then another one, just again for spacing. 50 for the parent. Um, and then so each sort of quiz level of the quiz will be on a different screen. So I'm going to finish that with another button, put that in there, um, and that button will be a uh, button to take them to level two. So go to level two. Okay, unless you want it to automatically go to the next screen to level two and you don't need a button, it's just going to do that straight away. But again, you can customize that within the code yourself. All right. Um, so again, I'm just going to put in a horizontal arrangement. just because I need that button to be in the middle. I'm going to have to correct that again. Um, it's this one. We'll center everything. OK, so that's the basic interface. I know that's really basic. So we've got the question. We want to start renaming things so as we're going to be using them in the code. So this we want it to read the question number. So I can rename that 
question num label. Uh, this is our, we can leave that as list view probably. I'll, I'll rename it um, question list, that's fine. This label again is going to be, uh, just call it correct, wrong, something like that. And then this one is score label, really I should put label at the end of all of them. So it's not confusing. And then the button, level two. Okay, and one last thing. Uh, this is correct or wrong bit here. Um, we actually don't want that to be visible in the beginning because we only want it to say correct or wrong when they've actually answered the question. Does that make sense? So if you go over here, um, you can make that invisible. Um, we can still access it when we access um, everything in the code. So we can make it visible when we need it to, but it won't be visible from the beginning. Okay. So we want that to be invisible. All right, so that's it for setting up the interface. Um, again, spend more time making yours look much more interesting than mine. Uh, mine is just a demo to show you how things work. Okay, that's all. In the next video, we'll go through making uh, this, this all work, okay?